Hi, it's Alex here from Vcharged again. I'm sat here today in the ruins of an old home to talk to you about potentially the future of your home, more specifically, charging at home. One of the biggest questions we get from new EV drivers or people looking to make the switch is how they can go about saving money or benefiting from off-peak charging at home. That's a very good question and it should be a simple one, but actually as new products come out and as explosive innovation takes hold of the market, the more options essentially mean more education required. So what we're going to look at today is what tariffs are available, who can access them, how you can benefit from them and what they mean for you in the long run when it comes to saving money charging at home. One of the great things about all of these EV tariffs is they'll match your electricity usage to 100% renewable energy, allowing you to protect the money in your wallet and at the same time protecting all of this. So we're going to need a little bit more space for this, potentially over the top, but let's see how we go. Dynamic tariffs are different to static tariffs in that dynamic will actually take the time of use or smart connections with your vehicle or charger, decide when it's cheapest for you to charge and send that to the vehicle or charger to let you know when you're going to get cheapest power. Static will cover a little bit after this. Dynamic tariffs at the moment, the two leading companies offering them are Octopus Energy and Ovo. There's a bit of difference between their two tariffs though, so we'll go into that as well. Octopus Energy, specifically the Intelligent Octopus Dynamic Tariff, directly integrates either with your vehicle or with your smart charger, depending on if you have the one compatible model out there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up with Octopus Intelligent and it's gonna link and tell your vehicle when to charge. Now their off-peak hours are typically between 11.30 p.m. 5.30 a.m. every day. And in that window, you're getting seven and a half P per kilowatt hour, which is a fantastic return on investment if you look at the average in the UK with being around 30 P per kilowatt hour for electricity usage, and considerably more costly if you're charging in public. Customers are already saving hundreds of pounds a year even though it's a relatively new product. And the reason it works so well is that you don't actually have to have a compatible electric vehicle charger. This is actually a common misconception and one of the main questions we get asked. The reason for this is that over the over 280 makes and models of electric vehicle that Octopus actually integrate with, the Octopus app will take that time schedule, integrate with the API from your electric vehicle. Now the next thing that happens once you've set that is you're going to approve a charge, plug in and you go ahead and benefit from that cost savings. You also save money on the rest of your electricity bill during those hours. There's a little bit of intricacy around it and we're going to share links on all of the tariffs that we discussed today in the comments below. With the Ovo Charge Anytime Tariff, the clue as they say is in the name. This is about charging your car anytime, day or night and still benefiting from the 10p per kilowatt hour off-peak electricity rate. The difference is that you're setting either a departure time or a desired battery level and you're going and putting those in through the API to a compatible make or model of electric vehicle or directly to one of the two compatible models of electric vehicle charger available on that tariff currently. One of the big advantages with Ivo Charge Anytime obviously being that you're directly charging and being charged for the electricity only that you use with the vehicle and it isn't actually discounted at the time, it's then taken off as a credit from your electricity bill in the future. If you want to go and check out which makes and models of electric vehicle are compatible, which would then mean that you can use any charger, you can head to the OVO website. Alternatively, if you use one of the two chargers that are already compatible, you just plug in, set up your tariff, and you're good to go. So similar how you go and set a schedule for charging inside your vehicle, the Octopus or OVO apps can either set that directly with your vehicle on a daily schedule, or you can set it on the chargers that are compatible with them and everything runs smoothly from there. So what do you need to access these smart EV tariffs? Well, firstly, you're gonna need one of these. Not this one specifically, even though it is very nice, but any plug-in hybrid or battery electric vehicle. A smart charger at home. One of these. And finally, one of these. Because what's smart charging without a smart meter? The whole point of smart tariff integrations with your vehicle or directly with your charger, if you can have it, is you don't have to worry about any of those things. All you do is get your app up, start your charge, and when you're done, away we go. So that brings us on to static tariffs. Now, as mentioned before, these are much, much simpler in concept. You take a block of time where off-peak energy is gonna cost you less, and not only are you gonna power your car with that, but you're gonna power your home with that as well. The benefits of this are that you can have any charger you want that can charge your car or benefit from it as long as you have a smart meter and you're enrolled on one of these tariffs. The two main companies that are doing this are British Gas and E.ON. So you've got the British Gas EV tariff and the E.ON Next Drive tariff. British Gas will offer you lower off-peak charging of 9.4p per kilowatt hour between 12am and 5am every single morning. There's a five hour window saving you hundreds of pounds a year potentially. 
not just the car, but the rest of your home is powered on that during that time period. The other one, Eon Next Drive, is a seven hour window, which is by far the longest static tariff available on the market today. That's only 9.5p per kilowatt hour that you're getting for that extra two hours. It's so nearly a third of your home's usage every day and powering your electric vehicle at 9.5p. You get seven hours between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m. every single day. And the way you benefit from these tariffs is you simply have a charger that's able to schedule a charge or a vehicle that you can set a schedule in. You set up your charge to sit between 12 and 5 a.m. for British Gas or 12 and 7 a.m. for Eon Next Drive plug in and wait for your schedule to start. Honestly, you can save so much money on these tariffs, there's no limitation on the charger choice that you can have, and it runs much, much more simply than if you're going the other way around. So in summary, as we break it down across dynamic and static tariffs, the most important things to note are that if you're going for the absolute cheapest pence per kilowatt hour at 7.5p, that is Intelligent Octopus. But please note that if you have one of the 280 makes of electric vehicle that are actually compatible with that tariff, doesn't matter what charger you have. Ovo, you can charge any time. You just plug in, tell it when you want to leave, and you're going to charge on cheaper electricity at 10p per kilowatt hour. For the static tariffs, British Gas, that's a five hour window at 9.4p per kilowatt hour from 12 till 5 a.m. And for Eon Next Drive, that's a seven hour window between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m. And for both of those tariffs, you can have any charger you want on the wall. We'd love it to be a V-charged, but honestly, the choice is yours. This has been V-Charged, I'm Alex, and we're here to help save you money by putting you in charge. <laughs>